chill computer guy today we're in reason 9.5 this is the beta now propeller head has decided to finally add VSTs into its propeller head reason platform very excited now I just downloaded the beta about a half an hour ago so I haven't had too much time to mess around with it but in my early early impressions so far I think that the integration is extremely good it's very very nice um, I do have a few issues mainly with the way it's implemented in the browser um, and we'll go ahead and go over that first when you when you open up uh, 9.5 for the first time after you install it when you open it it's gonna load your VSTs in based on a folder any kind of VST label on your computer go into your advanced tab and now that's by default it went into my program file VST folder which that's just that's needs to be uh, you know organized and cleaned out so I went ahead and, uh, and removed it from that and then put it just into this uh, RVST, which is Reason VST. It's a new folder I just created. I, I love my stuff organized, and so I created a folder just for that. Now you can see inside that folder, all I have is the Wave Shell. Now everybody's who's ever used any kind of Waves plugins, everything gets put into a single um, DLL file as a shell, and within that shell are all the plugins, which can be kind of a blessing and a curse. As far as you know, moving your VSTs around, it's really great, but as far as organization, it's kind of a, a pain in the butt. Now, there's many things you can do to break the shell apart and put it into folders, but it's kind of a hit or miss. I might actually do that just for propeller head reason, because I don't really like the way that the, uh, the browser implements the, the wave shell. Mainly, it just puts everything in there I bought the waves gold bundle years ago I got a super good deal on it and anybody familiar with that that bundle you'll know there's just a crap load of plugins there's a mono a stereo a mono stereo stereo mo yeah there's just just tons of them like you know EQs reverb some of them have five or six versions and so this wave shell even though it may consist of maybe you know 20 plugins actually there's probably 50 or 60 plugins rather that this will install into reason automatically and there's no way that I have found so far in the browser to organize that so so far all we have here is the wave shell VST 9.91 that's the only thing that is in this uh, R VST folder which is checked right here and then once you change this you're gonna have to close reason down open it back up um, let's go into the browser and take a look now we have our normal um, rack extensions instruments effects utilities and players just like before uh, but if you go down you'll see that we have new things that are popping up when you first load this up you're gonna get this VST generic kind of icon here you can see codex I've already uh, uh, changed the icon on this when you first install your plugin folders you're just gonna have these blank icons now what you can do is you can drag this in and you're gonna get your electric 88 piano in this case if you click right here your actual VST will open up it's in a pop-up window which I actually like pop-up windows I'm kind of a fan of pop-up windows so what you're gonna have is you're gonna have this uh, this what looks like a rack device and then you're gonna have it linked to this plugin now this is blank if you take a screenshot you just click on this what it will do is it will populate that with a picture of the plugin which is great which is great because if you go back to the browser you go back down here to waves and you can see now that icon has been populated with the plugin and so it's much easier to see that so what you got to do is basically drag in all your VST plugins take a screenshot of each one very similar to like a studio one type platform um, it would be great to somehow have uh, something uh, in the in the preferences or something in the options where you could automatically scan through your uh, VST folder and it would put all the icons on there for you but in this particular case we have to put each one in individually so when you drag your VST plugin in what it's gonna do is once you take your screenshot it's going to show that here you end up with like a rack device which you can rename you know you can rename that whatever you want and then it's also going to create a mix channel like like it would with any rack extension so this is basically treated like any other rack extension it's just instead of an actual rack device it gives you a floating window which is connected to a device you can use in the rack now if you flip this around 
you have your input and output so you can run audio into any uh, VST or effect and then you have an icon letting you know this is an instrument your gate your CV your pitch bend your mod wheel all that stuff and then if you click here multiple audios into like if you have an effect or something you can run multiple uh, channels into that effect and then you also have separate outputs as well as the uh, the main uh, uh, output here so these are optional audio output and then you also have modulation CV in now if you flip this around you can see there's eight CV ins and then those are connected to this front panel here what's great about this is all you got to do is click learn and then click anywhere on your VST instrument and it will instantly velocity curve put that under CV1 and now you have the option to select the Pulsar LFO device we can run that right into CV1 there and you can see that knob is moving instantly you have access to all the routing like you would in, a, in any rack extension except here you just basically have a rack device which is directly connected to that VST instrument or effect and then you have up to eight CV signals you can change this up you can change the depth of it all that stuff <laughs> Now you'll notice as I mess around with this, uh, like for example, if I uh, click here, click there, start clicking around the UI, you'll see that the VST disappears and you're like, ah, geez. What you can do is with it open, you can actually hit this uh, thumbtack here. What this will do is it will lock this VST down. So now it doesn't matter where you go, it will stay in its pop-up window. You can move it around, do whatever you want with it, but it will stay open. And so you can do this with multiple effects and instruments. You can fill the whole screen up, and once you have that thumb down, that, that tack down, it won't close on you. And so you have the option to click the Learn button, or you also have the option to right-click and then you can select any of the uh, of course you can right click here and select your CV so they don't have to be in order and then over here you have your your base value here so you can actually increase this you can hit there's a clear button here if you hit that it just resets that entire channel that's super handy and then your routing that's going to give you more depth so you can change the level here or there So you have the ability to route right here up to eight CV signals. You can, you can either right click and use the menu or you can just click learn and click on whichever parameter. And then you can also just clear that with one click. So as far as integrating the modulation system into the VSTs, unbelievable it's very very good it's very solid like I say I've only been messing with the program not even an hour now and I haven't had any issues with with plugins not working um, just just wonderfully wonderfully implemented here in reason 9.5 now another thing you can do with this uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this pulsar here another thing that is great about this is you can click on this automation lane and it says click a parameter so any parameter on here let's go ahead and do the reverb mix you click on that and it instantly creates an automation lane down here very cool I can double click that I can use my zoom tool you know put uh, put some automation in here there we go put some quick automation in there and now if I play this you can see my uh, reverb mix is being is being automated so uh, the automation is is very very nice the integration of the automation is wonderful it's really really good when you're automating things and many controls they just have this random value that's not representative of anything this one's kind of makes sense but you know it's a hundred percent wet hundred percent dry that makes sense but a lot of like EQs and whatnot you want to actually get a, a frequency you'll get just like some random arbitrary number that doesn't really represent anything so that's kind of a something that has always kind of bugged me about reason not all devices but 
I would imagine with with VSTs, you're probably going to run into that problem. You know, see where you're at with specific parameters as far as just dragging this around and having either zero or 100 or, or you know, whatever it might be. But as far as uh, as automation goes very clean let's go ahead and move this up now another issue I do have is with the browser the organization now if we go under effects there's our normal effects and you can see as we get to the bottom we're gonna have our waves folder and like I was mentioning earlier with the wave shell is look at all these plugins just tons and tons and there's a couple that I actually uh, put in and uh, and created thumbnails for but uh yeah yeah kind of overwhelming i mean it's so the ability to organize this would be a huge huge thing and hopefully that will be coming in the future because there's certain plugins when i bought the gold bundle there's certain plugins that i just i don't use but there's certain plugins that i absolutely use constantly every every track you know so um so what i'm gonna have to do is i guess drag drag the ones I use in and create thumbnails I guess would be my is probably how I'm gonna work it you know uh, you can only drag in one at a time so that's gonna be kind of annoying the back of the effects module looks very very similar minus the gate and the CV but you still have your uh, your eight MIDI inputs and your uh, all your outputs and then multiple inputs so that's pretty much the same uh, if you go into a utilities I don't see any utilities. Yeah, I don't have any VSTs which are considered utilities, although I would think that, like if I go into the paths, like these to me seem like utilities because they're analyzers, but... So that's cool. So anything just just works beautifully. Um, you can screenshot that. There's your analyzer. Um, super super cool stuff. And so you can fold this down, and uh, it's gonna always say the name of the VST, which I'm fine with. But you can name it anything you want. You know, there's our piano. We can name that piano. We can you know change the uh, the color of that, and. Uh, so as far as once you're in the rack, it's very, very, uh, very closed down, very organized. I click that, it opens it up, and then I can click that, and it opens up all my routing on the back there. Same with the back, it folds down into a nice little uh, setup there. So yeah, the integration is, is really top-notch, super top-notch. You can keep it open. Uh, you can automate one click by clicking on a control. You can remote by clicking on a control and then clicking your uh, your MIDI device. You can screenshot it to get your thumbnail. Um, your presets are stored within the plugin, but if it does allow you to store them uh, in separate folders, as long as you throw that in your document folder, that's where this browse button will take you. Now, if you can change that, I'm not sure. I haven't looked into that yet. You have an on and off button, which basically... Uh, turns it off and on easy enough now one more quick tip is uh, the actual VST instruments you can put them inside of uh, combinators and whatnot now an issue that I did have when I heard reason was coming out with VSTs I was kind of uh, when I'm working in propeller head reason there was a certain sound that I was trying to get and the only way to get that sound was to use VSTs the pull tech EQ is a perfect example of this I love this EQ, it's my favorite EQ, and working with other DAWs, I would constantly use this EQ, I would get that certain sound, and but it wasn't available in Reason. And so what I did is I purchased the the MP5 by uh, by, uh, by uh, Casa, which is, is a great EQ, but I prefer the actual Pultec by Waves, I think is a better EQ, it sounds better to my ear. Um, so the issue is with the money I have spent on rack extensions over the years, 
what I was trying I was trying to create is emulate the sound of VSTs, which I also you know purchased over the years through sales and whatnot. So now I feel like I'm kind of a, you know double dipping. You know where does this leave the rack extension platform? Again, that's the only thing I do feel about the uh, the reason 9.5 update is the fact that a lot of the rack extensions I think are going to be overshadowed by VSTs. And considering, you know, you might have spent money over the years on those rack extensions, you kind of feel, I wish they just would have, uh, you know, put the VSTs in here a long time ago, you know, because what's this going to do to the rack extensions? I mean, the rack extensions, are people still going to buy them? The VST is a, a better platform for uh, developers, you know, why, why develop for just reason when you can develop for all the DAWs and that's what VST platform does. Anyway, this is Chill Computer Guy. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short review. This comes out, I believe, in late May, May 28th, May 30th. I don't know. Um, as far as I know, the upgrade is going to be free. I'm hoping anyway. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, comment, let me know what you feel about Reason 9.5. How do you feel about spending money on rack extensions and now there's VSTs? Now that they're available, you're not going to use your rack extensions. How does that make you feel? Please comment down below and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.